What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Leo Pozzo TV. So today we're doing a little bit, something a little bit different. Um, we purchased this new Nespresso Virtual Plus. We have the existing, just the espresso machine, the Nespresso Express, espresso machine, which I love. So we decided to purchase a coffee one. Um, a little background, this is now our second machine. Um, the machine we purchased originally wouldn't even turn on. So here's hoping this one actually turns on and works. So we can give you a kind of a little demonstration. I even troubleshooted it, it just wouldn't go on. So I had to go to the store and exchange it. So we figured, you know, what if everybody else has had the same issue? So let's get into this. I haven't touched it yet, although I've been dying for a cup of coffee. Basically, this is what happens when you open it. You see all of this. So the paperwork, the machine, the water reservoir, the plug, your 12 samples of coffee, the manual. And I decided to get the red. Ooh, decided to get the red to go with the espresso machine. That way, at least it would be all the same on the counter. Let's just move this out of the way. So, because I know from the other machine, I got the plastic, and you're supposed to just basically fill it with water. So, give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it, and I'll be back. it now we're supposed to fill it it says with basically filtered water so put this here I'm gonna put this in here and basically they recommend for um, every machine that they have to use filtered water uh, instead of the tap so it doesn't damage the machine So basically this takes two bottles of water. Put the lid on. Okay, are you guys praying for me? I'm hoping it's gonna turn on. All right. Oh, it's green, yes! So basically how do you know it turns on? Basically there's a light up here that just turns green flashing there. You guys see that? Basically you're supposed to... Oh, there you go. And just like that. So, that's as far as I got yesterday. Ours didn't even open. So let me just go to here quickly and see what the next steps are. So we did that. Basically, this just goes in here that your coffee cup will rest on. Support. And basically, this can go either on the side or on the back or on the other side. That's the part of the new system. All right, so steady green light will indicate the machine is ready. Open the machine by pressing the lever up, which we did. Uh, place a container of at least 27 fluid ounces under the coffee outlet. So, this, and we'll remove this for now. Open the coffee head by pressing the lever up. Push the button down three times in two seconds to clean it. So, uh, it's starting the process now. So basically I had to press it three times within two seconds for it to start going. It says it'll take up to two minutes or less for it to come out. And the light up here is orange. And that's what color it should be flashing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, 
and it's saying it could take up to five minutes for the whole procedure to clean through. So while that's going, I'm going to open this and see what comes in here with the machine. So it says you get 10 capsules. Basically for you to sample, I guess, and figure out what you like. So Alto, Gran, Gran Lugo, and Double Espresso. So I'm guessing these are the larger coffee ones. This machine does do espresso, a very long coffee, and a regular coffee. There's different strengths starting from two all the way up to I believe there's an 11 which is the, the Christmas one but that's not on here. Up, he, up on the samples it goes up to level 9 as intensity for how strong basically the coffee is. While I was at the store I did buy some other ones, some different flavors. The caramel which I've tried in my other machine so I knew I'd like that. I got an intense one, which is basically a level nine, which is, oh, yeah, it's on there. And then the caramel is a level six. And I got a hazelnut as well, which is a level six as well. And then there's another one I got, which is a level, what is this one? This one's a level six as well. Basically, when this is done, it does say that I can basically ready to fill it again with clean, fresh water, and I can make my coffee. The smaller ones are the espresso ones. Like three different coffee levels. So this is an espresso pod. This is the double espresso pod. And then we have the Gran Lugo pod. And I believe this is the Alto, Alto one. Yes, it is. So this is the basically the biggest coffee that they make, which is like a venti from Starbucks, is how the gentleman described it to me. And all it means is basically how much coffee is in each pod and what kind of strength it's gonna be. done the light it says when it was ready it was gonna go a steady green color which it is I don't know if you guys can see it's a steady green color so it looks like we're ready to make a cup of coffee let me dump this out let me put this in let me push this back I am going to pick a coffee. What do I want to pick? I kind of really wanted the caramel. What's this one? You know what? I'm going to open actually the hazelnut. That's, I really want to try the hazelnut, so let me, try, let me open that. Let's see how these come out. Oh. So it comes with 10 pods and pretty much they are, I believe, $11 for 10. So if you think about it, I was spending about five, six dollars on a Starbucks coffee. And this I feel like is even better than a Starbucks coffee. So apparently you put this in like this. Let me get a cup. Let's just use my festive mug here. Hopefully it's gonna work. Just close that. Oh. And I think all you do is press that. Hopefully I don't have to move the cup.
Well, there goes my coffee. All right, looks like my coffee's done. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. You don't even get that at Starbucks like that. I like frothy milk, so I'm going to use my milk. We actually got the milk frother from Nespresso as well when I purchased our espresso machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up to the max line, which is at the bottom. As long as you stay under that max line, your milk will be frothy. Okay, let's go ahead and froth it up. Super quiet too, doesn't make a lot of noise. This heats your milk and frosts it at the same time. You know I got a hold this, I see the play, I know this. I don't really stop it now, I'm feeling like I own this. You don't know what to say to me. Gotta be mighty, words louder than actions. You're holding on my body, my body. You're holding on my body, my body. Love, you don't wanna be a habit. I don't wanna be a savage. Trap like an addict, trap like an addict, and I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't. too long to set up and look let's see how it basically retracts the pod into the holding cell all you're supposed to do is pull that and that's it so overall they are currently on promotion it's basically you save $50 automatically on the machine and you receive $50 credit towards coffee that needs to be used when you're there in the store purchasing the machine so technically I was going in to buy more coffee for my espresso machine and I decided, you know what, since it's on promo, I'm going to save 50 on this. I'm going to get $50 worth of coffee. I was like, you know what, you can't really go wrong because at the end of the day with tax and everything, it was like 222 Canadian dollars. And I got a whole bunch of coffee, a brand new coffee machine, and I already had the accessories. They do, you can purchase this alone or purchase in a set, but because I already had one, I didn't need another one. Um, it is, I feel like, because we've had this one for so long, it's giving us no problems. I paid around $2.49 for the set of these together, and I came again with like maybe 12 samples. Uh, I do enjoy the Nespresso coffee. Will I say their customer service is great? No, I will not say their customer service is great. Um, I'm still waiting to receive a call back from the... I guess they were going to escalate my problem because I purchased a brand new machine and I had to drive over an hour to go and exchange it. That's the only downfall when you purchase from a boutique. It needs to be returned to a boutique. So if you're purchasing one, make sure you purchase it from a store close to your house. Um, we just happened to be at the Sherway Gardens location, so we decided to purchase it there. I didn't really think I was going to have any issues because I owned another machine. 
Um, I am happy this machine is working, but I am waiting to hear back from them to see how, how they're going to compensate me for having to drive all the way back in when, when you purchase the brand new machine, it shouldn't be dead before you use it. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Do you even have a clue? You're always acting up, but you see what you can lose You see what you can lose oh. Oh. Yeah. See what you, you claim that it's love, do you even have a clue? You're always acting up, but you see what you can lose But you see